We are back now this morning with an important today's checklist. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women in the United States. It's a major factor for heart health is cholesterol. The CDC says one in 10 Americans have high cholesterol. Today, medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar and today nutrition and health expert Joy Bauer are here to share what we need to know. Good morning to morning. Yeah, exactly. the dream to team, you. if you will. Mm. All right, so, so Joy, let, I mean, Dr. Azar, let's start with you. Okay, first of all, what is cholesterol? And then we hear about good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. So yep. what's, the, what's the deal? All right, well, so we'll start with the basics. So cholesterol is this waxy substance that actually is made in the liver, um, and it's not all bad. Cholesterol is actually necessary to make vitamin D and certain hormones and it kind of creates the envelope for our cells but cholesterol then is carried through the blood by these things called either LDL or HDL and yes it's true LDL we kind of coin the bad cholesterol because LDL ends up causing this plaque buildup and narrowing of the arteries and that can lead to heart attack and stroke and HDL which we talk about as the good cholesterol actually helps bring LDL back to the liver where it can be broken down and gotten rid of. Mm. You know, screening is really important, guys. And we talk about like, well, why don't you start screening? Do you know that kids are recommended to start screening around like between the ages of nine and 11? No, and then that. roughly every five years thereafter, and that frequency changes for women hmm. between the ages of 55 and 65, you screen one every one to two years. For men between the ages of 45 and 65, it's every one to two years and 65 and older, you should get your cholesterol checked uh, every year. It's a simple mm. blood test. I'm sure we've all had it done. Sure. Yeah. So, so, Joy, I mean, let's talk about some solutions. If you do have some of the bad cholesterol, what lifestyle changes, what can what yeah. we do? Yeah. So, here's the great news small, everyday lifestyle tweaks can give your heart some serious love. So, for example, lose a little weight. And little is the operative word here. We have studies that show that overweight adults can dramatically lower their bad cholesterol just by losing 3 to 5% of their body weight. So imagine if you're overweight and you weigh 200 pounds, that's just 6 to 10 pounds mm. to reap the benefits. Move your body. By walking 20 minutes a day, you can significantly drive down the LDL, the bad cholesterol. I always say L stands for lousy. Mm -hmm. And drive up the HDL, the good cholesterol. H stands for hero. Ah, oh, that's quality good. Quality sleep. Like, that's good. Healthy. Yeah. Quality sleep is really important because it enables our body to heal and repair blood vessels. You want to strive for seven to nine hours. Quit smoking. It wreaks havoc on our heart. And limit alcohol because excessive alcohol ends up impairing the way that we process cholesterol. It also raises triglycerides, which is another form of fat in the blood. Diet is also important. Talk to us about soluble fiber. Right. So I love talking about food because it is such an easy way to drive down your numbers. Soluble fiber is a type of fiber that almost like acts as a sponge in our gut. It grabs onto cholesterol and it flushes it out of the system before it can be absorbed. And these are the top places to get it. Hmm. Legumes like beans and lentils, oats and barley. Now, all fruits and vegetables have fiber, but the type of soluble fiber is found in apples, pears, citrus fruits, and berries. And when it comes to vegetables, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, eggplant, and okra. And sweet potatoes mm. is like this cozy comfort food that doubles as a cholesterol helper. So I love I that. Like that. And so let's talk about fat for a minute. So fat definitely matters. Saturated fat found in cream and full-fat dairy and fatty meats drives up the bad cholesterol, LDL. But unsaturated fat drives it down. So these are easy swaps that act as cholesterol-lowering helpers. Instead of using butter in cooking, swap to olive oil. Instead of spreading cream cheese on your toast, use mashed avocado. And instead of constantly eating the fatty red meats, hot dogs, sausage, marbled steaks, Try to sneak in some <laughs> salmon. Like uh, quite yeah. and, and, and also like <laughs> endless <laughs> poultry. And one other thing, a uh -huh. handful of nuts in the afternoon every day, one to two handfuls, can significantly drive mm. down hey, the bad cholesterol. Matt, real quickly, yeah. if you do all these things that Joyce says and, and still your cholesterol hasn't come down, yeah. what do you do? 
statin. Then, then we start treating, right? And I also just want a, a, a quick thing about one in every 250 people in the U.S. has something called familial hypercholesterolemia, yeah. which means that it's not necessarily related to diet and exercise, and those folks have it's a like genetic. genetic. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you know, if you're really struggling to get it down, you're obviously going to talk to a doc about medication. Thank this you. That's good, guys. Yeah. Dr. Natalie, Joy, thank you so much for Joy's three-day cholesterol-lowering meal plan. I'm sure it includes salmon. It does. Head to today.com. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.